you know, you have to deal with these issues of, uh, of um, nuclear growth in other countries. Uh, and, and I will tell you, I don't think you have to wait a couple of years. I think, frank, frankly, I'll tell you, within the next 12 months, we'll know whether or not um, American leadership in nuclear will be sustainable for the next, let me just say, three or four decades. It'll pivot on some decisions that the United States government will make and it's uh, in the Nuclear Regulatory so you got, uh, Commission, I think the next 12 months. If we are not able uh, to maintain the predictability that our industry needs relative to design certification and the first combined operating licenses in the United States, I do worry about our ability to maintain our leadership position. Yes, we will still have the largest fleet in the world, we'll still have the highest standards of the world, and the most fundamentally the highest professional um, uh, resource base in the world. But that sustainability, without an active program, um, just, just all of a sudden, the negative reactivity, to use a bad term, is terrible. So to kind of pick up on your question, Llewellyn, um, I do worry that um, there is a fundamental need to have alignment of industry and government at this pivotal time, not only for our, the needs of our country and our legacy in energy across the world, but the ability to actually you know, impact what you said. How can we um, use the flag of, of safety and generation three reactors and 10 to the minus ninth type of core frequency melt and external events and all those kind of things that we believe is the, is the foundation of safety in our country, in our country or the independent regulatory process, if we fundamentally abandon that in our own country? So unless there is a alignment of both industry and government about the recognition that the, it is both an economic and a national imperative for the, for the United States to have leadership, both industrial and government, in this area. Uh, I, do, I do worry that we'll lose that leadership and therefore some of the issues of ability of our government and our industries to impact how nuclear is developed in the, throughout the emerging economies is going to be lessened. More or less the same question, John. How do